Guys, I finally found my favorite productivity tool and I'm going to talk to you about it. Y'all, it's been a long journey. I have looked high and low for the best productivity apps and I finally found one that works for me and my brain. Now, I started a couple of years ago using Trello, like most people. It's kind of the basic one, People, a lot of people use it, but I just didn't feel like it had a lot of features I needed. I tried Asana for a little bit. Mm, again, I didn't really click with that one. Last year, I guess maybe even in 2019, I started using ClickUp, which was a great app and I loved it. I loved a lot of the recurring uh, notification features, but it was almost like too cumbersome and I just didn't use all the features it had and it was a little bit overwhelming. Then last summer, I thought I had found it, Airtable. It was the most amazing database system I had ever used and I got really into it. I started using it every single day as a way to keep track of things. But there was one more that I had heard about that I was very curious about but also very nervous to try because it seemed overwhelming to me. But one day I just said, you know what, I'm just going to do it. And I have officially found my tool of choice and that is Notion. Now you may have heard of Notion, there are a lot of YouTube videos here on YouTube about Notion but I wanted to kind of talk with you about what I do with it. I'm gonna kind of walk through what I've set up for myself, but really I just kind of wanted to introduce Notion because if you haven't heard of it or you haven't used it before, it is a little bit kind of hard to understand and a lot of the tutorials that I've seen on YouTube haven't really talked through why you use it or why it's set up this way. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing right now. So the number one thing that you need to know about Notion is that it's more of a database wiki. So basically, I used Airtable, which was just a database. It wasn't really a wiki. You obviously use Wikipedia. Anyone on the internet has used Wikipedia. Basically, how Wikipedia works is that you have a page and there are embeddable links to other pages, URLs, hyperlinks. That's kind of how it works on Notion. You can actually have like a database page and then you can have pages within pages within pages which is great because if you're like me, I like to categorize everything and go down different levels of organization. So there are different ways that you can do this on Notion and it took me a little bit to kind of understand it, but it's almost like having different chapters of a book. So you would have different, like they call it bases on Airtable. I'm not exactly sure what they call it on Notion. Um, but you, so for me, I personally have a personal one, a business one, and then I also have just a references or resources one. So I personally have a ton of different things that I use Notion for. One of them is for personal, I track a lot of my uh, inventory of food in my house. So I'm able to track all the different products I have. I also have a checklist of things that I'm out of. I also track a lot of my content calendar. What's cool about Notion is there are a bunch of different views that you can set up within Notion that have, for example, the calendar view or the Kanban view. And there's a bunch of different views. It's very similar to Airtable if you've used Airtable before. But what I love about Notion that is kind of an addition is you can have things like checklists. You can add images or even embed a YouTube video. So within a page, you can actually add some additional notes. So for example, I have a podcast and I interview people on that podcast. Right now, I'm currently still using my Airtable form because Notion does not have a form and that's the one thing I wish it had was forms. I now copy that information over to Notion and I basically have a page for each of my guests. They have given me all of their information, their bio links, social media links, so that I can quickly add that to my show notes. But I also can now add questions I wanna ask them during the interview and reference that while I'm on the Zoom call with them. So that's something I really enjoy about Notion is you can add additional notes that you can't really do on Airtable. Um, I'm gonna be talking about Airtable a lot, comparing it because I have been using Airtable for over six months and I've only recently switched to Notion. Now, Notion, again, is free. You can download it to your computer as a desktop app, as well as on your phone. Another thing I love about Notion that Airtable does not have is they have dark mode, which Airtable does not, and I absolutely love that. So you can set that up and have it be dark. When it comes to Notion, I wanna do some videos going more in depth about why I use it, and specifically some templates that I have it set up. Now, a lot of the ones that I have currently, I literally imported as a CSV file from Airtable because I'd already set it up in Airtable. 
The one thing about that is it did not move over any of my images. Um, so that was kind of annoying. I have to re-upload everything. One thing that's cool about both Airtable and Notion is you can actually link to other pages or other things in the uh, Notion system. So for example, for my food inventory, I can actually link to different recipes on my recipe table so that you can actually see that which, you know, which recipes use which ingredients and to make sure that I have them in stock. So that's something that I've been able to use to cross, uh, you know, check and, and make sure everything is in stock when I'm about to make something. Same with, you know, any type of content calendar. You can cross promote if it's based off of a blog post or a video or a podcast. You can link to other records within the system. So if you've ever wanted to set up like your own database or wiki for yourself, Notion is the way to go. I'm so excited to be sharing more Notion videos coming soon because it's absolutely something I want to teach on more. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for more Notion content and I will be coming out with so many